Hi everyone, Mr. Masura here. So here's our second example problem for using the formula for acceleration. So here's the problem. Carrie is driving with a speed of 10 meters per second when she begins to speed up. She speeds up with an acceleration of two meters per second squared for six seconds. What is Carrie's speed after she finished accelerating? Now we're gonna show our work using the same steps we've always done before. We're gonna start by listing what we know. So let's start, it says Carrie's driving with a speed of 10 meters per second when she begins to speed up. That means she's going 10 meters per second at the beginning of the problem. So that would be our initial velocity. So VI equals 10 meters per second. Says so she speeds up with an acceleration of two meters per second squared. So that's our acceleration. A equals two meters per second squared. And it says for six seconds. Six seconds, well that's a time. So T equals six seconds. And finally, it asks for her speed after she finished accelerating. Well, that would be her velocity at the end of the problem, so that would be our VF. So VF is our question mark. Now you notice in this formula, there's four different variables. And if I tell you any three, you can calculate what the fourth one must be. In the first example, I had you find the acceleration, which is the easiest. But in this one, you're gonna have to do a bit of algebra, All right? So uh, we made our list. We'll next write our original formula. A equals V little f minus V little i all over T. Then we plug in the numbers. So we know A equals two. And then uh, on our fraction here, we don't know VF. So we're gonna leave that as VF minus VI, which we know is 10, all over T, which is six. Now, uh, for a four step, it's a solve. We wanna get the VF all by itself. Think of it like the X in math class. You wanna get it all by itself. First thing is that it's part of a fraction. That's not very good. So we need to do something on both sides to get rid of this fraction. Well, since this fraction is all over six, we're gonna multiply both sides by six. Well, six times two gives us 12. And VF minus 10 all over six all times six would just give us VF minus 10. Now you gotta be very careful. When you multiply by six, that only gets rid of the fraction. It doesn't change what was on top at all. Sometimes students will do that times six and they'll put VF minus 60. Nope. When you multiply by six here, that just gets rid of the fraction. It does not change what's on top. All right, then over here, uh, our next step, we have 12 equals VF minus 10. Well, to get rid of this minus 10, we need to add 10 to both sides. So 12 plus 10 gives us 22, and VF minus 10 plus 10 gives us VF. So VF equals 22. And then finally, we need our units to go along with this. Since this is a velocity, our units will be meters per second. And there you have it. You notice it's the same steps of showing work that we've done with every other word problem that we've had. The only thing that makes it different is this bit of algebra you have to do over here in order to solve for VF. Hope this helps.